Hold on, let me just breathe. Let me just breathe. Okay. Okay. One, One, two, two three. three. Show it. Got this off for our difficult hike. Look at that. That is tight. We're in Bernadan Island and there are marine iguanas everywhere. Look at that. And Isabella, we have the biggest morpho type. And we're really one of them all archipelago. So here they grow huge. They can uh, go you know, beyond the meter, meter and a half for sure. Sometimes even more, the big males. There's a lot of hawks, for example, the hawk that is, a, uh, if you turn around, there is a stick over there in the mangrove that they keep pulling wild leaves. That's a Galapagos hawk. And those guys, they're hunting for baby iguanas. Everything in the back of you, though, this sand is a nesting area for marine iguanas. So in the breeding season, the females will go there, dig a hole, lay the eggs, and later on the eggs will be hatching. And juveniles, uh, that's an easy prey for the hawks. They will love to go after juveniles. So if we're lucky today, we can see a, a hunt. You know, the reptiles, they need to thermoregulate. They cannot, they cannot afford to move yet. It's a cloudy day. It's too early in the morning. They will not move until later on. They need to warm up. So they warm out with uh, different techniques. Laying in the lava rocks, the la these hot lava rocks, they, they remain the heat inside as they are black and this basaltic lava. So they usually lay there absorbing the heat of the rock. That's one of the techniques. The other one will be staying close by, hugging each other. Once that they are all hot enough, around 10 a.m. or so, they'll make their way to the ocean. <laughs> the juveniles, those you haven't seen in documentary, a juvenile underwater feeding. Never ever. Always a big male. That's why, because the juveniles and the smallest ones, they get advantage of the low tide. When you have low tide, the algae are exposed and they will go straight there in order to feed. The biggest one, the ones that are strong, that they can tolerate the, the cold water and clean better, they will go underneath and that's when they're gonna get uh, more algae. Super endemic or any one as they are drink as they are um, consuming algae mostly as primary diet they can eat many other things. Um, these guys they will drink salt water and the way to control the amount of salt in their body will be through sneezing. They'll sneeze salt. Mm. That's it, that's why they are sneezing. So the mountain here on Bernardina, they say is uh, pretty much all lava rock, not much vegetation and life, all of it's by the coast. And you know these mangroves, they house incredible, incredible habitats for many, many species. So I will try to go around the mangroves and try to see if we can spot uh, pristine wildlife hidden here. Okay? <laughs> identified which ones are most likely the males and the females. However, the males can be a little bit tricky if they're not super large males. 
Um, we've sneaky also, Mails. They're called Sneaky Mails. Fire guide. Yeah. We've also um, learned what they eat, um, how they regulate their temperature, and it's been pretty fantastic. We've also seen um, regular the sea lions, the uh, red crabs that we've been seeing throughout the week, birds, and sea turtles. It's been pretty fantastic. go snorkeling, deep water snorkeling, and we should see the marine iguanas in the water. It's gonna be amazing. One, two, three, shot! been a great day so far. Just had lunch, just had a little bit of a nap, and now we're about to have a Zodiac ride. And I think we're in the northern tip of Isabella for this ride. And the new animal that we're supposed to be seeing now is our fur seals. Should be fun. We're on the Zodiac, ready to go for an afternoon tour. pushed this cinder that way. That is so cool.
Yes. yes. We just finished our zodiac ride and we were able to see fur seals. Which are not seals, they're actually sea lions. Right. And we were able to see blue footed boobies, sea turtles, flightless cormorants, flightless cormorants, zodiac booby, the or... one over there. Yeah. It was amazing. And we were able to look at the geology of how this volcano changed this island or created this island. It was magma and lava when it came out from underground. When it erupted, it came up through the cracks and it filled in the cracks. Wow. Your mask? Two. Okay. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the count. Okay. Alright. One. 